Okay guys, so I thought I'd do this little video um, of setting up a snare. Sorry. Um, setting up these snares. Um, I have a, my cat set. My one cat set is right, right there. Um, little cubby. Um, and right there is where we caught that one coyote. Uh, you can kind of see there's a faint trail goes down along there. And then there's another one goes up through there. Um, I already have one set on there and there. Um, but I'm going to set one right in there. There's a faint trail goes through there too. So I'm going to turn this camera around and uh, get set up and then show you how I set my snares and what um, height and stuff I set them at. So, And this is just how I do it. Um, a lot of people do it different, but this is just how I do it. So, all right, here we go. Okay, guys, so I got the camera set up. Um, I'm going to be a little bit quieter. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, there's some folks up here above me cutting firewood. And I don't want to draw any more attention to my set um, than what I have to. Um, I already got tracks in the snow coming back in here. Um, unfortunately, that's something you got to worry about when there's other people around. Is, uh, you know, the possibility of theft. So, um, so I'm not going to speak real, real loud. Hopefully you can hear me good. Um, but anyways, yeah, here we go. Um, right here is where this trail goes out through. and goes up along the... The creek there comes in through right here this funnels down next to this tree I'm gonna put a little bit of a limb over here I'll anchor off with my snare up on this tree up high as high as I can get it um, and then I'll hang my snare off of a limb right here um, something you want to just kind of watch is I don't like using a whole lot of um, like dive sticks. Dive sticks are great as long as you don't have um, deer in your area. Um, but I mean, you're you're gonna. This is the cold hard truth about snaring. You're gonna end up catching a deer. You do enough of it. Um, that's where those the um, breakaway. Um, uh, yeah, S hooks, breakaway lock things. Um, are really really good so you don't uh, end up killing deer and that so but I'm gonna get this set up um, and I'll just show you what I do and how I do it so first off is got my snares um, got a piece of wire that I hang my snare off of. And I pre-cut these so I don't have to, you know, do it out in the field. You can do whatever you want. I can come off of here with this snare. That'll be great right there. Cause he'll come, they'll come in around and go around this and go out like that. All right, so here's my snare. Um, I usually use get coke closer to the camera here. I usually use um, about eight. Eight ten foot of, uh, cable to make my snares up. Um, always make sure you have your trap tags um, on your snares. Um, right now, on these, these are some of my older snares, so I don't have the breakaway locks on on these I do have my deer stops which is required by law um, but I want to put uh, those breakaway 
um, as hooks may I'll make a video on making them up um, but this is kind of how I have my snares it's a cam lock um, little dispatch spring right there and uh, the deer stop um, so usually what I like is a loop roughly about oh let's see hopefully you can see that about that size that is about 12 inches you know from from bottom of the loop to top of my loop somewhere somewhere in there right about right about like that um, you know about 12 inches somewhere it doesn't have to be dead perfect I think the the height of the snare off the ground is a little more important than um, the size of your loop I mean obviously you don't want a real small loop but yeah Okay, um, I'm going to show you how I do my, um, my wires. If I can get my Leatherman out of my coveralls. Okay, so, and I wear, I wear gloves. I wear gloves with everything, but, um, it's good to wear your gloves so you don't get human scent on there. All right, so what I do is I take and I come in here and I bend it like such. Make a loop and then I bend back and then I bend back up again. So essentially, I'm making like a kind of like a W and what the snare does then is the snare goes in it wheeze uh, sorry about the glove <laughs> it wheeze in like that and then the snare itself um, if I can get it back up here will hang like that so um, I'm gonna get this set up here and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I'm gonna take and come off of this limb right here. So go about right here. Obviously, I'm taking more time um, than what it normally would take um, setting these up, just to show you. Run my snare up high. Once your snare up as high as you can get it, helps them tangle up and strangle a lot faster it's actually not they're not strangling to death basically what's happening is the air um, isn't getting into the bloodstream and it's the lack of oxygen in the blood is what kills them it's, they're not strangling
so right there now the distance that I come off the ground obviously if you got a bunch of deer in your area you don't want this to be super high or you'll they'll um, you'll catch a lot of deer so um, about oh nine inches ten inches off the ground um, is about what I like um, I've have no trouble catching coyotes like that um, what I'm gonna do is uh, you don't want to bush block this a lot either what I'll do is I'll just take this and set this right like that um, and that'll cause them okay guys I'm not sure what you all caught and I'm sorry um, my camera cut off on me for some reason but this is my loop um, right here uh, it's about 10 inches off the ground um, you don't have to go crazy I stuck this little stick in right here you don't have to go crazy on the camouflage you go too crazy and then deer start ducking your stuff and also they start it's so thick they don't want to go through it so um, but yeah so we're gonna I just wanted to show you this here um, no pinch point right in this pinch point nice place for them to come down through um, so yeah that's how I set up my snares um, hopefully I got all this uh, uh, yeah I don't know what else to say remember I always uh, run my loop around the trees and stuff up high as high as I can get them so all right um, any questions let me know and uh, I'll uh, try and answer them the best I can so all right show you this little whiskey jack here camp robber not focusing right but he's right there he's about 10 feet from me little bugger jumping around probably in here trying to steal my bait out of my <laughs> out of my uh, bobcat trap but anyways all right guys um take care god bless and we'll catch you later